The next step follows by laying your base tray in your panel inside your frame. Come around from the back side where I am, just angle it down and just lay it right in there. It's quite self-explanatory. It just can only fit one way, tray side up. It lays right in there. Then you want to come back, you want to make sure that all the sides are tight as you can get it. You want to make sure it just looks nice and flush. You're going to notice some pre-drilled holes. And we're going to take some one-inch screws. They're most likely silver, they're an inch long. And we want to snug this base tray down to the frame. When you do that, make sure you just push your panels in nice and tight. I like to do one side uh, and then immediately go to the other side so the whole frame is tight together. Remember, if you can snug it up, you want it snug. You don't want any gaps in between your side panels and either one of your tiers. You just keep it as tight as you can. I'm just using my foot behind this side panel, pushing it a little snug. It closed the gap up really nice. One more screw. What's great about it at this stage in the assembly is that now the, the side panel and the base, they've all connected to each other. So we pretty much have a, a nice you know, frame that we can work with and it's not going anywhere. And it's only going to get easier from here. So we'll go to the next stage at this point. The second part is putting our second tier or top tier in to the Susan. You want to be at the back and just come in just like the, the bottom one, you just angle it down and angle it up here on the side. You have to do this angle or you'll be here all day and just will not assemble. I made that look real easy. Once that's in, we affix the screws to it. Then we'll be ready to slide in our back and start to button up the doors. Okay, here we go for the back. I pointed out earlier the miter on the left and right side. So you got your channels in the back, all the millwork has been completed. It should slide in those channels perfectly. Slide right down. If it's a little tough, you can always get a hammer and bump it down right for me. Remember we talked about keeping everything flush. Everything needs to stay flush. Once that's in place, just come back here to angle, set a couple screws. This area is hidden. It'll never be seen by the naked eye. So you don't have to concern yourself with the screws being visible from the outside. could also use a finish nail gun if you want to shoot an inch and a half or even a two inch finish nail into it. Uh, you could do that. That would work just fine. Once the back is in, we're ready to assemble the doors and we've got a completed product.